Kennedy. I am the founder and executive director of Awamaki. Hi, I'm Vivian Smith. I'm the volunteer coordinator at Awamaki, a nonprofit in Oyante Tambo. My name is Jesse Zimmerman. I am the new director of operations at Awamaki. Well, I'm uh, Graham Hannigan. Awamaki is a nonprofit. We work in rural Peru, and we work to give skills training to rural Indian women and then connect them with access to global markets so that they can earn an income and support their families and transform their communities. We do this because we believe that poor women know what their families need and the best way to lift a community out of poverty is to give women the ability to earn money. Um, today with uh, EF, um, and actually this year with EF, we're building uh, a center for a group of knitters. I'm helping to build a new knitting and craft center for the Women's Artisanal Cooperative in Rumira. And we're building this to give this organization more autonomy so these women can develop their business with more space and with more resources. So today we've been working on building um, a craft center for them so that they can have a place to meet, um, to distribute orders and payments, so that they can have a place to do their trainings when we bring in our product development team to teach them something new. Um, and to store their materials, and to store their equipment, and to store their finished inventory. I've been living in Oriente Tambo, working as an architect for 10 years now, working with nonprofits and with, with private, uh, private homes, private hotels. Uh, but when I get to work with a nonprofit like, uh, like this, I really get to enjoy uh, truly giving back to the community directly. I get to literally buy rock with a, with a donation and, and place it with them and no other money is involved and we build a wall together. Uh, that, that is, uh, for me, the most rewarding, rewarding part of my work here in, in Peru. With new groups that come, other donations that come, we build a little more of the building. And, uh, and little by little, we'll get to the point where we have about a 2,000 square foot, uh, two-story concrete building that will should be facilitating all of the needs of uh, this association. This is a really important part of them being able to run and manage their own business having their own space. So far today and yesterday I've been digging the trenches over there and uh, been setting some of the rocks, getting the big rocks down and stuff like that. Uh, you know, we've been making the trenches so we can set the walls and everything and you know, I think it's real good for, for us to try and you know, help out and get back what we can to, to the Peruvian communities here and uh, you know, I think it's going to make a difference. I mean, you know, it's something that they need and something we can help with. Uh, my name is Chris O'Brien, I'm from Glendale, Arizona, I'm a high school social studies uh, teacher. And this is my sixth EF tour. Uh, this is the first one that includes a community service component. And I believe the students are working really, really hard uh, to make a difference. Uh, we gain a perspective of what it's like to live in a developing country uh, where most of the labor is done by uh, hands instead of machines. So our community service project includes building the foundation for um, a facility that the women are going to use to store their textiles. Um, I, uh, I think it's incredible to be here in Peru and to make such an important connection with the people that live in this small village. I think the importance of doing a service learning trip is to just experience the culture and the environment that the locals live in and just to really get to delve deep in their lives. So this project is really important because it allows the women to sell their work, their weavings that they're going to do anyways, but they can sell it for a fair price and be able to provide for their families. Over the past two days, I've really seen that showing that other cultures and other people from other countries value the work that these women put into their weavings really empowers them and proves to them that they can make a difference and truly help their families, which is pretty much the best thing that we could ever hope to do. Hi, I'm Carrie Adams with the Silver Creek Leadership Academy at Silver Creek High School in Longmont, Colorado. I think an EF service learning tour is an amazing opportunity for students to get a chance to work with the locals, to do real impactful good, and make a difference in their community. I'm Brett Fairborn, Spanish teacher at St. Louis School in Honolulu, Hawaii. And we're here on this uh, service learning tour with EF. I think the service learning is way better than the typical just sightseeing tour because we get to meet the people, my boys are playing with the little kids and we're getting in the dirt, we're learning a lot of Spanish rather than just talking to each other and looking through a bus window. And here working with this women, women's organization to uh, help them make and market their products, feels like we're making a lasting difference, an impact that's going to be more than just kind of a, you know, like a handout or something that's just, just a moment and then it's gone. I think what we're doing here, building this knitting center for them is, is going to have an impact for a long time. 
and it'd be cool to come back someday and see the finished product and see what they're making in here. Um, and so with EF, um, this project is designed to give them that space so that they truly can be launched to be an independent, um, successful small business uh, that will generate them sustainable income for years to come so that they can send their kids to school, send their kids to the health clinic, put a bathroom in their house, or whatever they or their family needs. I'm just really thankful for everyone coming today. It's been such a help and getting this weaving center off the ground and completed eventually will just be mean so much to these women in terms of efficiency and having a space to actually call their own rather than each having to meet in individual houses and stuff like that. So it's really great. Yeah. Yeah.